It is me, Owen, here, and today we are back playing Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, I believe we went down to Kony Kony City, um, and we were trying to find Olivia, and we didn't, but now, I was just training up my Pokemon a bit, just off on the side, so that they could have, they could have some more levels before we try and do anything like battle Olivia, but right now, we're supposed to go into the Ruins of Life. Owen! Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way into the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she taught, saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now I've got to go. The Mass Royale has a match, and there's no way that I'm missing it. That Mass Royale. What do you think he looks like under that mask, anyway? I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself as much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at that poor Finneon. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Yeah, I had Finneon out in front. Within these ruins waits the garden, guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. You know, you. I, I know you tried to drag me <clears throat> along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? <clears throat> Just think what would have happened if you, to you if Owen hadn't been there back then. <clears throat> Olivia. <clears throat> oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? <clears throat> ah, voice. <clears throat> oh yes, my name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Owen. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me once here to clean up the ruins. Owen, thanks for getting to know the people in the Pokemon of Alola. Alright then. You completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. Yeah, let's go, Olivia. Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Let's do this, Olivia. <clears throat> Island Kahuna Olivia. Alright, so she has a nose pass. Oh, Finneon is super effective against nose pass. Let's go. Sorry, Skull. Ouch. And we got the burn. That's nice. Ah, T-Wave. Come on, man. Alright. Come on. Finneon. Spark. Ouch. Finneon, no! Alright, we're gonna have to switch into someone else. Um, is anyone else super effective? Yes! Huff God. Nice. Doesn't affect Huff God. Hurt by the burn. Alright. High horsepower. Let's go. Huff God! MVP! Ouch! <laughs> 28 for Hoof Gun. Twenty-seven for Lil Doggy. Boldor. Now we'll keep battling with uh Hoof Gun. Let's see if it's still super effective. I don't know. Hoof God, MVP. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Alright, we got our stamina going. 
Try bulldoze. Let's see what that does. It lowers their speed. Okay. Not doing that much damage to Hoof God at all. Let's see if Stomp affects it. Are you kidding me? That did nothing. Finish it off with a high horsepower. Ow, Hoof God, moving first. Hoof God is the MVP of this battle. 30 for Pow. Pow is insanely high level. Lichen Rock. So that's the evolution of Rock Ruff. But that's the that's the Moon version actually of Lichen Rock. Cuz that was in my last when I um played it on the Moon version. Uh, let's see if this does anything. One hit KO for her ace. That is insane, actually. 28? Everyone's getting levels. Big for 28. <clears throat> Finneon's the only one who's slightly underleveled. <gasps> yes, you guys! It is finally happening. Lil Doggy, a.k.a. Rock Ruff, is finally evolving. <clears throat> I love the evolution animation screen. It looks really nice. What is it evolving into? The Pokemon Sun Lycanroc. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> that is really cool. See, that is the Pokemon Sun Lycanroc, and Olivia had the Pokemon Moon one. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. That's really cool. Cool. Ooh, a new move. Ex Acceleroc. Um, yeah, let's... Okay, it always goes first. Get rid of hell. Wow. Finally, little doggy. I see you, little doggy. And Big Bird is evolving. What? Two evolutions in one battle? Are you kidding me? Are you actually? Wow, that's never that's never happened to me when I've played this game before. Two evolutions in one battle. Two cannon. And it wants to learn the move Beak Blast, because it's it's Toucan's special move. Uh, and you've registered all the Pokemon on a single page as well, because of that. And I know it wants to learn its special move Beak Blast, as it is right there. What are we going to replace? I say, I say flame charge. I say that because we already have a fire type, which is pow, and I don't exact, I don't really need flame charge all that much. It's an okay move, but I don't need to, I don't need it that much, to be completely honest. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to the absolute limit. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal. The Rocky MZ is all yours. Oh, we can give that to Lycanroc now, too. Grand trial complete! Nice. You obtain the Rocky MZ. The rock type Z power. You have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial. Oh, I see you, Olivia, stretching out like that. <laughs> Use it well. 
the rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. I like the way Nebby walks. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get it, back, get it back to its home. But I don't have any ideas how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. You certainly don't seem like- you don't certainly seem that Pokemon like that every day, oh my god. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs, unless they're strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person. I can't help but give you a hand. <laughs> ah, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Inky Town. You gotta let me battle you. Oh, hey Owen. Guess what? The weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Ooh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Owen, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then... Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hanogram Resort je lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The, the Aether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how how go how How's battle how 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 How's battle goes too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt, but I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling besides you two. I may not be as strong as my Gram's Hala, but I can still rise raise up Dartrix and the rest of my team to do their best. You're just you're just How, right? And what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what How can do. Okay, you guys, I will see you guys in a little bit once I reach the Hano Grand Resort. Yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, we are back here at the Hano Grand Resort. So this is where we are supposed to be right now. Um, yeah. So... I believe how oh camera angle bad sorry about that um how is battling Olivia as we speak and now we are here at Hano Grand Resort to see this guy <laughs> so you've come at last ah but forgive me I have yet to introduce myself you may call me Fava I told you before that I would show you some place astounding right well that wondrous place is Ace of Paradise let me tell you about Ace of Paradise. Just the same, just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that I've told you all, all that I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Yeah. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh! Even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any, I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. Go see all the amazing tech that Aether Paradise is devel that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Let's let then let's meet up at Melee Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back any time we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy the, a, an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say the ferry. Hmm. Got their own ship. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Owen? Wow, I didn't know that. I knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's Aether Paradise.
Okay. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Okay, so they can... They have elevators. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your, any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast through the facility to, fr to, present, to prevent them from functioning. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Self-centered much? Yes, branch manager Faba. Now, I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and take them to meet the president as well. Alright, so he's gone. Phew. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Owen and Hal. My name is Wick. Nice to meet you. Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? <laughs> One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I heard how you help protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Shall we zip right up there? Harambe. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Owen? You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11, then. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Cause someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How lovely for you. I suppose all children must learn yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly children anymore. Trainers are just like parents of their Pokemon. Owen, Hal, would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They were quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Oh, what is a Pokedex? Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its twelve legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Ooh. Yeah, my gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why bother setting up a branch in this place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be out here in the conservation area now. Okay, so we can move again. So I'm going to go try and see if I can find President Lusamine, and I'll see you guys once I find her. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. On that note, guys, we are back, and I presume that that's President Luzamine right there. Yeah, that's her. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. Bye, Pokemon. Hello, Luzamine. <laughs> you
You must be Owen and Howe. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please, just call me Luzamine. I am so glad that we got to meet. I am glad that there are people like you, who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reason, reasons, or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Hm. Wow, Miss Luzamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already- What? You're over 40? Hey, he said that, too. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style is a bit wanting. Hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. Like, like what you wear? I don't think anyone else can pull off that kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would, be, would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. What's that? That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? The Ultra Wormhole. I also know the name of that Pokemon, but I'm not going to tell you guys, just so you can find out on your own. Did you come from another world? Miss Luzamine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Wait, why did Hal go forward? Just... Oh, it wants to fight us? Um, okay. Is this a totem Pokemon? I'm expecting level 25, possibly? No, 27. What's effective against it? Venishock. Ouch. That's super effective. Do Pokeballs... I'm trying, I'll... Oh. Right, we can't throw Pokeballs. Finneon won't survive another attack. I remember that it is possibly weak to ground types. I think. Not sure. I hope. Eat it up, of God. And with the stamina. Okay. Not bad. Let's try high horsepower. Wow, it's fast. It outsped Hoof God twice. Its defense rose. That's good. High horsepower. Yeah, I knew it. It was super effective. What did I say? Cool. That wasn't bad at all. Hmm. It's gone. The, un the unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Losing Me, did you say something? That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast, an unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that again. I will save it, and I will love it. Okay, then. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you so much. For what? We didn't exactly do much. Wicky? Wick? Wick? I'm just gonna call her Wick, alright? Just... Okay. 
These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh ho! At once, ma'am! I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I still need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. I'll see the, the two of you to Ula Ula Island, our next island, then. Everyone's saying their goodbyes. Bye, Luzamine. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Room Hole in my life. We gotta tell Professor Bernard about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you, both. Please take this to remember your visit. So Malasadas for how? How does love is Malasadas? Yes! Big Malasadas! Awesome! Isn't it how crazy how Malasadas taste better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for Owen, oh, psychic! Good shout. Let's see if any of our Pokemon can learn that. 90 power move. TM29 psychic. I hope you will have a wondrous adventure on your island challenge. Cool. We will. Thanks, Mrs. Wick. Are we in a plane? My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Room Hole is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real, too. But the world is just way too big. And it will discover even more new things on the next island, too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. You want a Malasada? Ah, so good! Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. <laughs> Classic how. So we're going from Aether Paradise to Ula Ula Island. All right. What is that? <laughs> nice. That's a nice town. Looks like it. Land ahoy! All right. Terra firma underfoot again. Ula Ula Island is, Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? I've got an idea. Yes! Let's have a battle. Yes. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure our teams are in fighting form first. Ah, oh, crap, actually. Wait, I have, um, Finneon up first. That means that its Pikachu is going to be super effective. That's going to be bad. Um. Oh, it's a Raichu now. Interesting. So, Finneon's about to get screwed, I think. So, there you go. That was my mom interrupting as usual. So, go scald. So, it did outspeed us. Is that going to be super effective? Ouch! Okay, then. Um. Alright, how you want to be like that? So, electric. Electric is super effective against flying. Oh, no. Hoof God. Hoof God. I think ground. Yeah, ground is super effective against electric. A couple high horsepowers. Come on, Hoof God. Yeah, I thought it would. Oh, come on, Hoof God. What? Hoof God actually didn't. Oh my God, this is gonna be bad. I guess rock is super effective against electric. I'm not sure. We'll see what it is. All right. Z move up in this continental crush. 
Please don't kill us. Come on, Raichu. Don't be like that. Yes, little doggy. That's a cool pose right there. Little doggy surrounded itself with its Z power. Little doggy unleashes its full force Z move. Continental Crush. Whoa. Yes! I like the howl music. 30 for Charger Bug. Vaporeon. I guess a bug move will be okay for that. I do really want to revive Finneon so I can get some XP. Oh no, electric is super effective against water anyways. I thought I was talking about bug, but I do just really quickly. Because I want Finneon, it is our lowest level Pokemon. I want it to get some XP in there. And if we get a bunch of XP from beating his Pokemon, it's perfect. This could confuse us. I hope not. Yes, not bag. Fight will go spark. Alright, it outsped us. As long as we don't get confused, we'll be fine. Alright. One more of those. Come on, charge bug. Eat it up, charge bug, eat it up. Oh, no, 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 charge bug. Get through it, get through it, get through it. Oh my god, charge bug. Alright. What else is super effective against water? I'll try Brick Break. I don't know what it'll do. Come on, Big Bird. Ah, oh, Big Bird. Not moving first. That's it. Ah, oh, no. Come on. Eat through it, Big Bird. Come on. Get through it, Big Bird. Come on. Yes, Big Bird. Kill it. Ah. Oh. One more of those should be fine, but I don't think it's, it'll do anything. Water Pulse is OP. Yes! Snapped out of its confusion. Kill it. M-V-P. See, 26 for Finian. I knew that I needed to revive it. Captivate? What's that? The If any Pokemon is the opposite gender of the Pokemon, it's charmed. No, I don't want it. I already have a tract. Keep all moves. Dartrix. Yep, we'll go right into POW. That should finish it up really quickly. 30 for POW. Couple levels until evolution for POW, actually. Yep, one more of those and he's done. So it can learn- yeah. Dartrix learns pluck at one point. Goodbye, Dartrix. Pretty simple. 31 for POW. Boah, I had my breath held that whole battle. Thousand bucks for winning. Not bad. Boah, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Melee Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? You've made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. That means a whole new island Pokedex. It's up to you. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Owen. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button in the face and subscribe for more daily great content from yours truly. I will see all you guys in the next video. Peace out.